there's a uh, India spice and there's different kind of black tea. <laughs> Do you scramble eggs like this? You never get a perfectly blended egg, and then there's the cleanup. But now there's the egg scrambler. They didn't have commercials in Israel until I was 17 or 16. Maybe that's why it's always seemed very exotic and fascinating for me. And I love infomercials. As an artist, the way they talk about objects is like fascinating for me. <laughs> and you have to be a really talented storyteller. I bet you never thought it would be this easy to make something. What do you make? Cajun Lagrini. Like, uh, what's his name, Ron Popeil? You know, the kitchen magician? He invents a lot of great stuff for the chi ki kitchen, not chicken. Incredible invention. You put up the window, you set it, and you... I don't know, it's magic. Finding little solutions for things that are not necessarily a problem. In my video, Tropical Breeze, they're making moist tissue papers made with sweat. Heather Foster, she's a professional bodybuilder, and she drives a truck. Um, Felicia Ballas has very flexible legs. It was my idea about how to package time, so each box physically like contains someone's labor and value. It's this fictional product that I was trying to kind of penetrate the, the real market. So we put them on eBay, but none of them sold. <laughs> I was always wondering where Martino cherries come from, and I decided to kind of make my own fiction about it. In Mary's cherries, they're making Martino cherries out of fingernails. So it's this uh, vertical factory. There's someone on the top harvesting red fingernails. They get clipped. They fall into the floor under. Someone puns them. And in the end, they turn into a cherry. Rose. Rock Rose. She's a fetish wrestler. She has an hourly raid. So I basically became a client. But I did not hire her to wrestle. I hired her to work in my factory. <laughs> I wanted to work with people that already advertise themselves and rent out their bodies. They're their own managers. They own the means of production. The women I work with, they love the camera. They're kind of exhibitionists. Meeting the person is part of developing the concept. It's not like I make the piece and then I have to cast it. It's the casting is almost before actually deciding what the piece is gonna be. Like a lot of the times the, the main characters are my inspiration. Queen Raki, she sits on people for a living sometimes. She's a squasher and a size activist. Um, Tall Cat also does these sessions where she rents herself by the hour. She's 6'9". Everything is very geared towards their body and size. I like to think about the rooms as part of what they're going to wear. It's really like making a dress for someone. In dough, it's how materials and people behave. It's a soft substance put into like a geometric structure. I would like to think about my videos as experiments. Or is it a game about meaning? <laughs> Squeeze is like a 20 minute epic story about the creation of an art object.
This is Mary Boone modeling the cube. This is blush, this is latex, and this is iceberg lettuce. This is a strange combination. I'm not really interested in objects. I'm more interested in the whole operation around it. The substance of life, how things behave, how things are made, how it is to live in the architecture of the body, being wrapped inside a skin, you know, and having limits. Psychologically, that feeling of being trapped that's what it's about for me. The object was there for a while and it's gone and you're just left with like the, the narrative around it. So. <laughs>